Portal released on 10th of October 2007, and I played it recently, so I'm only like 17 years late. So let's get into the game. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. As we all know, you start in this room, and you hear GLaDOS. You run the basis of the portal gun through the levels, and I honestly fell in love with the gameplay and had way too much fun using the portal gun. Also beating up the turrets. The game was the same, but honestly not repetitive. It was complete the puzzle and hear a funny GLaDOS quote. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. Until we get to the final test. See, I was really proud of myself. I completed 19 puzzles, some even taking hours, and now I'm a master of the portal gun. I've officially made every turret scared of me. What can't I do? I can't escape fire. I, of course, survive since I'm stubborn and GLaDOS can't get rid of me, especially when I was promised cake. So with my portal gun, I started to escape. GLaDOS loses us between twists, turns, and rocket turrets, and we get into the offices and workspaces. And they're empty. Literally, no one is here. And the game is great at making this part creepy, and I felt really uneasy during it. I mean, it wasn't that creepy, especially when I tried taking a turret with me. Friend. No! After that, I found GLaDOS. Maybe I will keep the gun and get the cake. It's a win for me. A core pops out of her, and she doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is. So of course, as a normal person, I threw the incinerator. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. To stop you from what? Okay, so basically, we have to redirect rockets through portals to hit her and help the cores come off and, you know, burn them. But we only have six minutes. See, I died so many times at this part, it isn't even funny anymore. We eventually beat her and this happens. And of course, you know, we start floating. Wait. Wait, what? Hey, we're on the surface. And we left Aperture. Wait. Am I getting dragged? Wait, 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 wait. Now that is Portal 1. I love the game. The puzzles are that perfect balance of difficult but still fun. The little bit of story is amazing and works. The only fight in the game, even though it feels like if you really out of place in a puzzle game, fits amazing. The game is hilarious. Honestly, the first time a game actually made me laugh out loud, and the voice acting is amazing. There were two voice actors, Mike Patton, that voice is the angry core, and Ellen McLean, who voices every other character, and they both do an amazing job at it. The game was way better than I expected. Now, how can the sequel be as good, or even better? Anyway, uh, just give me a wave, would you, before you solve this one, all right? I don't want to spoil the ending for when I watch it later. Portal 2 starts with us waking up, doing an exercise thing, looking at art, listening to classical music, going back to sleep, we wake up again, and... Hello, sailor! We meet Wheatley. He is a charming little British robot. And he's actually, like, hilarious, though. Literally one of my new favorite characters in gaming. Anyways, we go through the test chambers, the old ones. They are overgrown and broken. This is also where we get the portal gun! We see drawings everywhere. Some of us even showing us with GLaDOS. Speaking of GLaDOS, Wheatley decides to activate everything on accident. But yeah, he activates everything and GLaDOS wakes up. You know, the robot that tried killing me. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It's not fine. So, she throws us down a hole and we find the portal gun. Again. She monologues about how she hates us and forced to relive the last two minutes of her life over and over. Like, dude, what a drama queen. I get to do puzzles with lasers, jump pads, laser walkways, and now with a lot more space. Also, I keep being called fat. Glad GLaDOS, what did I do to you? Wait, nope, nope, it's justified. Also, there's turrets. You know what that means. Now, 
after test and test, Bailey starts to help us leave. We get to see a lot of Aperture, which is actually really nice. The environment is actually really cool though, and I love it. I'm different. Thank you. You're lucky. I ruined turret production by removing the template. I pretend to be a turret. Didn't work, so I take a dysfunctional one and put it there. We eventually find potato batteries, and that's basically just a tree now. We go to take out the neurotoxin now. Ha! <laughs> There's our handiwork. I shouldn't laugh, really. They do feel pain. Of a sort. It's all simulated, you know. But uh, real enough for them, I suppose. Oh. Well, anyway, we use laser to cut the tubes pumping neurotoxin. We go through tubes and... Oh. Hi. Are, are you okay? I'll take that as a no. Wheatley! We replace GLaDOS with Wheatley and... Oh, oh, I feel kind of bad. No! 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 Anyway, lift time! But I'm huge! <laughs> uh, actually, why do we have to leave right now? Do you have any idea how good this feels? I did this! Tiny little Wheatley did this! Uh, oh, now he's evil? And she's a potato. Wow. Deja vu. Wow. This place is depressing. Fully broken down. Fires. Just, it's just broken. We go through this area, and we got a welcome to Aperture. And Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? Is that J.K. Simmons? This is where we learn background stuff. We hear the founder of Aperture Science, Cave Johnson, voiced by J.K. Simmons, and his assistant, Carolyn. These recordings describe us as a volunteer who is helping them test things. We test propulsion gel, which makes us bounce and jump higher when on it. We eventually find GLaDOS with a new gained fear of birds. We continue to go through tests that introduce propulsion gel and conversion gel. Propulsion gel makes you run faster. Conversion gel, which allows us to put portals on any surface that it's on. Conversion gel is made up from crushed up moon rocks, and apparently that makes them portal conductive. Now, real quick history lesson about portal. See, I mentioned Cave Johnson. Now he and Carolyn are very important to the story. Cave Johnson is, as I said before, the founder of Aperture. The thing is, he became rich because he sold shower curtains. He used that money to fund his science experiments. This contained replacing blood with gasoline, injecting human with mantis DNA, and exposing a person to jet engines to lower the water quantity in their body. He eventually, in his later years, ordered moon rocks and grinded them up. These still happen to be very toxic to humans. He started to become more aggressive, and he has a hate for lemons now. And this amazing speech, which I love. All right, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? He eventually died, but he told the lab boys to study AI and brain mapping to hopefully bring him back. To our knowing, he didn't come back. Anyway, we eventually leave the testing area and we decide to confront Wheatley. GLaDOS tries to do a paradox to break him. It, it didn't work. Wheatley does need test subjects, so I'm a test subject. Again. Can I get a break, please? I finish his puzzles, and we start to escape from Wheatley. Hello, this is the part where I kill you. Oh. I guess this is the part where he kills us. We avoid him killing us because I'm really good at this living thing. So we run. He tries killing us, you know, the normal. We do eventually find him, and we have a little boss battle. We have to, you know, have him explode this tube that has conversion gel so he can put portals down. We launch his own bombs at him and attach cores onto him to stop them. We attach three cores and start the core swap process with GLaDOS and Wheatley. Duh. All the conversion gel is gone because of a fire, and you know, that's no good. Except there is a portal place underneath Wheatley. We go to try to press the button for the conversion, and it, it's booby-trapped. He's kind of smart sometimes, actually. We get knocked back and see the moon. 
We fire a portal and... Oh yeah! So you know how I mentioned how the lab boy started to learn AI and brain mapping? I also said Carolyn is important? Well, this is why! Isn't that cool? I should have mentioned that. Anyway, we win! We go up the lift and... What? Wait, wait, wait. That isn't welcoming. me. I know I hurt a lot of you guys, but I swear I won't do it again. Never mind! We actually saw a turret choir. Finally, we leave Aperture and... I love this game so much, and yes, I do enjoy it a lot more than the first one. Having a story you play through is really nice, and it doesn't ever take away from the puzzles. Also, there is so much more content in the sequel. There are more voice actors in this one, and they did amazing. And Ellen McLean's performance as GLaDOS in this one is way better than her performance in the first game. The graphics are really good. And I will say, the puzzles in this one were way more entertaining than the first game. In the end, I find this going to be even better than the first one. Now, that's the video on Portal. And yes, I am 17 years late as I said before. But hey, I loved them and they still hold up to this day. So if you like this video and you're still here, please subscribe. It's great, helps out the channel. And yes, everyone does say this, but it is really important. So please do that, share it with people who love Portal as well. and. I can now have officially only one orange box game to play, Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 1. So if you want to see that, subscribe, check out, and all that. Hopefully I can see you in the next video. Now, see ya.